And right now at six, lights out for millions of people across the nation. For others, the skies put on dim. Something we haven't seen in decades and won't see again for a while. Many of you dropped everything to watch the marvels of nature as the moon took a bite out of the sun. Good evening, everyone. For the first time in a long time, the nation came together to celebrate, in this case, the wonders of the solar system. Well, we all took a few minutes ourselves to check out the spectacular solar eclipse. It was pretty cool, that's for sure. For millions of others, day turned to night. The path of totality plunged people from Oregon to South Carolina into darkness, and in some places, to the sound of cheers. But even with a partial eclipse here, it was enough to bring people out by the thousands across Hampton Roads. Ten on your sides, Deanna LeBlanc takes us to one of the larger watch parties at ODU. Tom and Anita, a huge turnout here at Kaufman Mall. They estimate more than 2,000 people turned out to watch the eclipse, and they only had 1,000 glasses to give away. So we actually witnessed a lot of sweet moments as strangers lent their specs so everybody could get a chance to stare up at the sun. Hundreds of families braved the heat to witness history in Hampton Roads. I've never seen it before, and it's really cool. From the young to the young at heart. I am old, and I'll never see another one, so it's really important to me. Diane Sullivan waited over an hour and a half for glasses, only to find they ran out. I think NASA was being a little stingy with their glasses and out. We gave out a thousand eclipse glasses in 25 minutes. We were just not expecting this type of crowd, just this size. People spent the day in what shade they could find, while wait times to get an up-close view through one of three ODU telescopes was more than an hour for a mere 10-second peak. Oh, it's big orange moon. <laughs> The moon slowly started to sneak in front of the sun just after 1.15. Then 90 minutes later at peak coverage, oohs and awes filled the crowd. I think it's just a wonderful thing. I've never seen anything like this before, so it's just different for me. The most interesting thing about it is if the degree in temperature is about 11 degrees below what it normally was just an hour yeah. ago. And I don't need my sunglasses anymore because it's like a sh big shade tree over yeah. the entire sun. It's pretty yeah. amazing. And in a moment, the sun started brightening back up and the crowd thinned. Until next time. Once in a lifetime is definitely what these kind of events are. Now, there will be another eclipse here in the U.S. in 2024, but Virginia will not be close to that path of total darkness. To wait for another event like we had today, you'll have to wait till 2045. In Norfolk, I'm Deanna LeBlanc. 10 on your side. All right, quite a ways away. You still have plenty of chances, though, to watch highlights from today's eclipse on our newscast. But for the real thing, here is more on that next eclipse on Monday, April 8th, 2024. If you are in Hampton Roads, you can expect about 80% totality, a little less than today. It will also happen around 2 p.m. The path of that next eclipse will be different, cutting south to north from Texas to New England. And 10 on your side will be here to cover it.